Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my empties. Got a lot of Scentsy this week. I have a lot of beauty empties and just a tinge of vendor wax. I don't know, it just, I was really making a push to get through a lot of the spring summer bars or just bars that are gonna be discontinuing. I also have a club that's processing in a couple weeks, so trying to figure out what I wanted in my club because I throw new bars in my club automatically and then I figure out if I want to keep them after the fact just because it's so hard to keep up with all the release dates and I want to make sure that I have a bar secured in there if I do end up loving it so really was making a push to kind of get through some of that stuff um, and also kind of the last of my summer wax I got through probably 75% of my summer melting basket. If you guys watched that video back in June, I did really well and I'm really proud of myself. I didn't finish everything, but probably a good 75%. And at this point, I just, I'm done with the summer wax. So I made kind of a, a final push with some of the empties that you'll see here. And now I'm really gonna kind of start focusing on some other scents, more year round, more transitional scents, more fall scents and less of like the summer fruitiness. So I'm gonna start with vendor wax just because I don't have a lot. I will leave timestamps for everything so you can see what vendor I'm talking about. You can toggle right to Scentsy, you could toggle right to Beauty Empties or skip the Beauty Empties, whatever you wanna do. Everything will be listed out in time blocks in the description box. So I'm gonna start with the Smell Good Shop just cause that's right on top. So my sweet friend Jason, sent me an order from that Smell Good shop about a month or so ago, and I haven't used anything yet. I was just letting it sit and cure and just get through all the other wax I have, right? So the last couple of weeks, I pulled out a couple of items. So first was a soap sample. This is the Goat Milk Soap in Woods and Earth, and it was two little cactuses, cacti um, shapes. So honestly, not enough to really understand how I how I felt about it but the scent was really earthy and nice and I would definitely purchase soap from them in the future um my shower routine I do like a double cleanse so my first layer of wash is an antibacterial soap and then a second layer is my body wash anything that smells good um to like add the fragrance into my skin um so yeah I would definitely consider looking at her soaps in the future and then I finished a scoop in Mac Apple. So it just says it's crisp red apples. I really liked the scoop. I liked the texture of it. It was very, very soft, easy to scoop. I used this throughout my entire open concept and it was beautiful, really strong scent. Like I probably could have gotten away with using less than I did. It was so strong, such a nice, just crisp apple scent. Yeah, I really loved this and I would be interested in trying more of their scoops. So, so far everything I've used from the Smell Good Shop is a win, but I'm excited to dig into that order a little more and get and see. What's next? I literally think everything I have is like one, one and done pretty much. So lots of different vendors here. One from Scoopable Tart Wax. This is Cake by the Ocean. This is a favorite scent of mine from Scoopable Tart Wax. Or I think she's changed her name to like Scoopable Wax Melts. But whether it's Kathy's uh, brand or Rose Girl's Jenny, they both have the same scent. I love this. This is Birthday Cake, Florida Key Lime Pie, and Strawberry Pound Cake. I wanted to melt one of these before the summer was over because... This is definitely a very summery scent to me. This mix of the strawberry pound cake with the key lime is so, so good. I love this. I have had a couple people recently tell me that they think this scent is light. And I'm really surprised by that because I get great performance. I mean, is it the strongest scent I've ever melted? No, but I get a good medium to high performance every time I melt it. It's always beautiful and so delicious. And I'm really picky with key lime, as you guys know. I love key lime, but it has to be like a certain type of key lime. And this is definitely a more bakery key lime, I guess, especially because it's mixed with the birthday cake and the strawberry pound cake. 
I love this. I highly recommend it. I would definitely get that again. I have a bunch of them. I have like eight scoops of that. So I've got a lot. Okay. From L3, I finished Lego Tastic. This is a favorite summer scent of mine. It made it in my top 10 summer scent video. This is Starfruit Mango and Mango Sorbet. Really unique. I don't have anything else like this. It's just exactly what that sounds like. To me, it's like fresh mango and mango sorbet combined because you get the creaminess of like the sorbet and like more of an icy note, but you get that fresh fruit as well. And this is a powerhouse. It's perfect for the summertime. Love Lego Tastic. I would definitely get that again. I'm at Sassy Girl Aroma. I finished a loaf and going to Disneyland, which I think she's changed the name to Waltz instead of Disneyland. So if this is pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. This is the best fruity summer scent ever. Just the blend of all those fruits together with the lemonade. It is such a beautiful summer blend. And this is from March of 2022. And I hadn't melted any of it as I've been sitting in my collection since then. So around July, I was like, okay, you need to pull this out and melt this. And then I got to a point where I was like, you need to just finish this loaf and enjoy it because I didn't want to take it into next summer because then it would be over two years old at that point. So I made it a mission of mine to use this and I enjoyed every second of it. It was beautiful. It wasn't like a forced thing, but I definitely didn't want to take this bag into next summer because I wouldn't melt this like in the fall, winter. It's just, it's too summery. Some sense it can kind of melt all year round, um, but this one was just too summery. But I, I love that scent. I would definitely get it again. Probably not in a loaf. I think a brittle for the summertime would be perfect, especially with all the wax that I have. I gotta be more mindful about what loaves I'm buying. Not that I don't love loaves, I do, but if you have a loaf and everything, like I just, I have so much wax, you know? Okay, then I've got one from Teddy Bees. I finished a Fireside Marshmallow. So this is basically Marshmallow Fireside type. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and Rich Vanilla Cream. I actually melted this yesterday. It's still hot here, but it was a rainy day, like cloudy, a steady rain yesterday. And uh, I had luckily taken Rip for like a couple walks and stuff in the morning. So he was good kind of for the remaining of the day. And we just spent pretty much the whole afternoon like in the house or out on my covered patio. And I was reading a book and it was just such a nice day. Just forced relaxation and also the vibes were <laughs> immaculate for just being inside cozy. And so I had this going in the house and I loved this. Really beautiful scent, marshmallow fireside type. So I would, I would definitely get this again. Okay, and then two from Lavender and Speckles. The first is Sea and Woods. So this one is Salty Sea Air Plum Sweet Florals Ozone with notes of vanilla, amber, cedar musk, lavender, and roasted pine cone. I had two of these. I've melted this one now. This was a favorite of mine on cold when I originally got this, like so much so that I purchased a second one because I love this so much on cold. And I didn't like it as much on warm. I still really enjoyed it, but there is a very masculine cologne note to this that I didn't really smell on cold too much, but on warm, it really came out more. So it's an enjoyable scent. I mean, I will enjoy the other bag that I have of it, but I don't think that it's going to be a repurchase less when I melt that one and my like nose has totally changed. It just pulled a little too masculine cologne on warm for me, but it was pretty. And then at Cozy Barber Shop, this is an absolute favorite of mine. This is Barber Shop and Marshmallow Fireside. I need this in a bathtub sized vat because I love this one so much. I have at least one more of these, if not multiple. This is a beautiful scent. Um, I love shaving cream scents so though. That's one fresh scent that I can really get behind and it doesn't fall masculine to me. It doesn't pull too clean. It's just like a very pretty scent. I love shaving cream. And mixed with the Marshmallow Fireside, 
it's like mainly the barbershop um, shaving cream and then you get like a hint of the marshmallow fireside. I love this. I've This has been a many repurchase of mine. I have, like I said, at least one more, if not multiple. Beth knows how much I love this. Um, I think her husband came up with this blend, so kudos to him. This is amazing. So that's everything for Vendor Wax, short and sweet this week with that, but I have quite a bit of Scentsy, so we will pivot to that. I'll go through the non-bars first. I finished one of the little washer whiffs. This is the 16 ounces in jammy time. Okay, I've talked crap on washer whiffs in past videos, or not like talk crap, but I don't find it to be like unbelievably necessary. Obviously it's not, it's not doing the job of cleaning your clothes. It's just adding that fragrance in. And so I'm a little more hesitant to constantly purchase stuff like this just because I feel like okay, do I need my clothes to smell like jammy time all the time? And like, how long does it really last and stuff? But I purchased the washer whiffs when I did a party closeout to give it a try. Like I always want to try stuff. I, you know, I, my opinion changes on things all the time. And I really, I enjoyed this a lot. Um, the scent to me doesn't really linger a ton, but when I take it, or I go nose blind, one of the two, but when I was taking clothes out of the washer, putting them in the dryer, I just, it smells so good. Now there was one day, the like serving size or whatever you want to call it is one scoop. And there was one day I did two scoops because the washer was really full. Like I had sheets and towels and it just was a really full load. So I did two scoops and that day when I did two scoops, I could smell the, the jammy time for like, quite a while on the towels and stuff afterwards. So I definitely enjoyed that and I love the scent of jammy time. So I still don't know if this is something that I would purchase all the time. Um, I have recently been kind of overwhelmed with the amount of just product I have. Like when I go into the bathroom, I've got 40 different skincare items and I've got 75 bath items and I've got all these perfumes and I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I have. And I've been really thinking lately about how can I simplify my routine? How can I have just my couple of top perfumes and get rid of the rest? How can I have, you know, a couple of basic cleaning products that are multi-purpose and would use and would function in multiple ways? Because just going into the bathroom and looking at all the stuff that I have or picking out all my cleaning items or whatever is just a little overwhelming and like nobody needs this much stuff and I'm not saying it's bad like if you enjoy it which I do but if you enjoy it it's fine but if I'm going into the space and it's giving me anxiety I definitely want to minimize that so I have been thinking about how can I reduce the amount of stuff that I'm using and get multi-purpose items or just simplify my routines so this is something that I'm enjoying, long story short, and I have a, a couple more of these and then we will see for the future, but they definitely work. Anyway, long story short, finished a pod in Amazon Rain. I've been using this in my car. Love Amazon Rain for the cars in particular. I do have a couple bars of Amazon Rain and I like it in the house, but it's a good car scent for me. It's just a nice tropical kind of floral really enjoyed that. And then I have a couple of scent packs that they're currently in the closets right now, but I wanted to touch on them. So I got these both in the clearance. So I've got Iced Pine and Jack's Obsession. Scent packs, I've just decided I don't think are, are for me. They just don't perform as much as I would like them to. Now the Jack's Obsession, I love that scent. It's just the perfect like green apple cider scent, I feel like. But I have this in a closet right now and I can barely smell it. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a while and <laughs> eventually I'll get rid of it. And then the Iced Pine, I don't care for the scent. Something about it is medicinal to me. It pulls a little bit medicinal and I, yeah, I just don't think it's really doing leaps and bounds of good stuff for my closet. Now, I so I've got three closets up here. 
I've got like a big linen closet, a small linen closet, and then like a coat closet. And the coat closet, I've got like the vacuum cleaner in and, and you know, my like winter coats and stuff. But in the one closet where I've got the um, towels and stuff like that, I have a blue grotto travel twist in there that I have had in there for months, like two months at this point. And it's still, every time I open the closet, I smell blue grotto. And that thing was $7. And at first I was like, man, this was pretty pricey, worth every single penny. If it's gonna throw like that, and I don't know if it's the travel twist in general, or if it's Blue Grotto being just a naturally strong scent. But I think I would definitely go for the Travel Twist over a scent pack every day because yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but if I get months and months out of one, that's a no brainer. So now into the bars. All right, let's start with, I've got two bars from the new 10 cents that Scentsy is releasing here come September 1st. So I hope you guys tune in to our live Saturday night with Charity and Natalie. We had so much fun. We just were such good friends and just are able to like feed off each other really well. And so I feel like when the three of us get together, we always have such a good time. And it was so much fun interacting with everybody. And just, I felt like it was a really, a really fun night. I hope you guys did too. So we went through, if you guys haven't seen it, all three of us have it on our channel. So go back and watch it if you want to laugh. I feel like everybody that has commented or reached out to one of us had said like how much they enjoyed it and how funny they thought it was, which I mean, that's the goal, right? Just to have a good Saturday evening and share some laughs. But we went through and did our first sniff impressions of the new bars. And so I have melted two of them so far. I will over you know the next month or so kind of periodically pick these bars out and test them so I can figure out what I like. So Frosted Cedar is one of the first ones I melted. This is Red Delicious Apple Adorn Towering White Cedar in a Blanket of Creamy Vanilla. So both of these that I'm showing today actually were in my top five, I'm pretty sure. We picked our bottom five and our top five from all of the new stuff coming out. And both of these I think are in my top five and both of these are not repurchases. So the Frosted Cedar is pretty, but I almost get, it's, it pulls spring to me. Like if I was blind and I didn't know what the name was and I just was like smelling the wax in the room, I would think this was a spring scent. It's a fresh, fruity kind of tree. Honestly, I, so I printed out the um, scent notes for the new catalog just to have them. And I wanna see where they put Frosted Cedar, what um, category. Yeah, they put it in fruity. So I, that's what I think it would be in too. It just, it smells like a fresh fruity tree. I literally, I would melt this in spring more than I would fall. And it was a pretty scent, but it's nothing special to me. So I'm not, I'm not going to get any more of that. Okay. And then dashing. Dashing is irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. Okay. Dashing is... Definitely a pretty vanilla with some mahogany to it. People were saying um, that it smells similar to Bonfire Beach, and I, I do think it does. It's it's not a dupe at all, but they're similar in their vibe and some of their, um, the way that these notes pull for me is very similar. I like this much better on cold than I do warm. When I warmed this, something just smelled off to me. And I think it was just the mix of like the mahogany and the vanilla literally kind of made me nauseous. I left this in for a good eight hours and it was still throwing. And I was like, okay, do I keep leaving it in? Cause I won't change my wax much after like two or three in the afternoon. Um, because I go to bed so early, I get up really early for work. So by 7, 7.30, my warmers are being turned off for the night. So if I'm not changing wax by like 3 o'clock, 
I'm not going to change it for the day because there's just, there's not a point to it for me. So it was about 2.30 where I was thinking, okay, am I going to change this or am I going to let it just write out and I'll put something new in in the morning? And I decided I, I couldn't take it anymore. And so I did end up changing my wax and I put in the um, Fireside Marshmallow from Teddy Bees, which was a much more pleasant scent for me. What do you guys think about this scent? If you've warmed it, it's just something about it on warm. It's just a little too nauseating for me. So I don't know, but that's really interesting to me that two of the ones that made my top five are ones that I would not get again. So like, I wonder if, what if the bottom five become the top five, you know, we'll have to see how things go um, as I keep, you know, testing. Okay. Next is Lilo and Stitch. I've got two of each bar. So I'm going to get rid of two of them. I had never tried these or if I did, it's been years because they've been out, you know, here and there for a, quite a long time. Um, and I think I heard that these two bars are like the most clubbed bars ever. And so, of course, I was like, I had to try these. So Experiment Stitch, Stitch Experiment 626 and Angel Experiment 624. So I wanted to try them separately, but I had also heard a lot of people talk about how they mix these together whether that's in the same warmer or in alternating warmers. So the first bars I did, the first two, I melted them separate. And then the second two, I blended them together. So Stitch on its own is like a creamy orange. It's not super citrusy in your face. It's a little more calmed but it's, it's really, really pretty. Now this is not a bar that I'm going to probably want forever and ever. This is a bar that I'm going to want like six or 12 of and probably be done with it. So I did throw this in my club, um, two bars of it every quarter. And I think that's going to be more than enough. And I would think after a year or so, I'll probably take this out. It's a beautiful scent. Obviously if I'm going to club it for any length of time, but I do see I'll get over this eventually, you know, but Angel, this is so pretty. Like of the two bars individually, Angel is definitely my favorite. I'm getting wax all over me. This is like a berry cotton candy. I get like a mixed berry, blackberry cotton candy from this. Very, very sweet. I love this scent. Beautiful on its own really really enjoyed this on its own and then i ended up mixing these together in the same warmer so one cube to one cube and i loved that these blend so nicely together now i am not a mixer like when do i come on here and say i mix things rarely ever i just i like the scent to kind of stand out on its own and sometimes i think when you mix things one bar always takes over the other. I just very rarely do I find a mix and I'm like, yes, this was so good together. And I felt like they balance each other evenly. And these two definitely did that. I loved these mixed. So the bars that I'm getting, I'm going to melt on their own. I'm going to mix them. It's just, I'm excited for those. Okay. What else do I got? so much stuff here. I have so much to say. This video is going to be so long. Okay. Sweet plum pastry. This is a really old bar. This is probably from 2016, 2017. I'm not even kidding because it's got my old consultant's label on there and I have not purchased from her literally probably since 2016 or 2017. So yeah. I love sweet plum pastry. I've loved it for a really long time. I have quite a few bars of it and I've actually started sending some to people. So I like this scent. I'm just a little over it. You know, if you've melted the same scent for a really long time, you just, I don't know, start to kind of get tired of it. This is a powerhouse though. One of the strongest Scentsy bars ever. Um, there is no pastry to it though. It's just a sweet, kind of tart plum. It's beautiful though. When I used to have apple butter frosting, 
I would blend them together sometimes. That's an amazing combination if you have both of these bars. This is like a Scentsy fan favorite, so I am sure that's gonna come back at some point. Okay, pink leather. This is the August scent of the month, and I was a little bit anxious about it because I'm not a leather fan, and this also has strawberries in it, and so I'm not a huge strawberry person. Just depends on the oil that is used. Scentsy Strawberry isn't terrible for me. I actually prefer Scentsy Strawberry compared to Vendor Wax a lot of the times, but I'm just not a big strawberry fan. This is really, really good. I put two of these in my club. I melted these in um, this bar in the bedroom bathroom area. So pretty. You get a hint of a leather, but it's sweet, it's girly, it's feminine. It reminds me of a like, pink sugar type of scent. It's really, really pretty. Um, really enjoyed this one, like it a lot. So I'll, um, what am I trying to say? Put two in my club and I'll be excited to get those because that's club is processing September 3rd. Okay, Bonfire Beach. This is a staple favorite of mine. I've loved it for years. I have quite the stash of it right now, but I did just throw one bar of it in my club because it is leaving the spring summer catalog. Um, so September 1st, it will be gone. So if you like Bonfire Beach, put it in your club. It's just salty sea air and like marshmallow fireside. The notes are like white flint and all sorts of stuff, but basically it's salty sea air and marshmallow fireside. It is so good. It's like two of my favorite scent notes blended together. I love Bonfire Beach. I hope I never get tired of it. It's just such, such a pretty scent. Amazon Rain, like I mentioned in the pods, I melted one bar in the house. And I do like this in the home. I like it in the wax, but of the two, I definitely prefer it in the car. This is a bestseller. It's been in the catalog for a really long time. I'm pretty sure this is sticking around as well. So I'm sure you've tried Amazon Rain. All right, one more stack of wax here. It's going to be like the longest video I've ever done. Clementine Cupcake. So this is a bar that I wanted to try because it's discontinuing and wanted to make sure that I either put it in my club or whatever. This was really, really light. Um, it was a pretty scent, but I didn't get much throw from this at all. It's a nice scent. It's, you know, a citrusy cupcake buttercream scent, but it just was really light. And look at this clamshell. This clamshell is like very thin plastic, like compared to, like I can barely push these guys in. These, I'm like, it is very squishy plastic. So I'm not really sure what happened with this because I just got this bar this season. Um, so I'm not sure what the difference is or just like a manufacturing defect because this is very, very thin. It kind of reminds me of the super tarts clams when they get a little bit squishy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway, not for me. Spiced pear got this in the warehouse hall. I got four of them and I, melted one of them like right away once I got my haul because this smells so good. This is such a perfect summer to fall transitional scent. It's a perfect September scent where you're kind of getting into the, the fall scents, but it's still hot out. And so it has like a fruitiness to it as well. This it's, it's not a dupe or anything. It's not the same, but this to me is reminiscent. It's definitely in the same category as honey pear cider where it's sweet but it's got that kind of fall fruit I really really like this it was a touch light I do wish it was a little bit stronger but I've got um three more bars of it so we'll see how the other ones do but loved that and then lastly for wax I've got three of the Harry Potter house bars so they relaunched these and I think they're going away like the 16th. So sometime this week. And so I threw all four of them in my club because I wanted to see 
what I wanted to keep or not, or I had never tried them. So I have Ravenclaw, which is wit and wisdom. I love Harry Potter. It's one of my absolute favorite things in life. Like top tier. It's my, it's my favorite books or my favorite movies. They're just, I love Harry Potter. So I wanted to, uh, like I had to try all of them, you know, and I've been really tempted about the Harry Potter warmers and stuff, but I'm like, I'm running out of room to put things <laughs> like warmers. And anyway, um, okay. So Ravenclaw, Wit and Wisdom. I didn't love this one. Actually, none of these are going to be repurchases. I didn't do Hufflepuff, but I have Gryffindor and Slytherin here as well. This was kind of plasticky to me. And this is masculine. It's like a sandalwood, cologne type scent. Pretty, but a little bit plasticky. Melted this in my bedroom. Um, and it was good. It was strong. It was actually a little too strong. And I don't normally melt a whole bar in like my bedroom bathroom, my master. It's just a little too much for me sometimes, but I was trying to test things in like certain rooms and close the door. But yeah, probably not a scent for me. Slytherin, which is cunning and ambition. This was probably the best of the bunch. This reminds me of something. It's a little bit Play-Doh-y though. It's got like a kind of an interesting note, but it's got a sweetness to it. If I can hold the bar and not put my whole face in it. It's fine, but nothing I thought I needed to club. And then Gryffindor, which is bravery and determination. This is a smoky fireside scent. So this was nice. I love smoky fireside type scents, but Vendor Wax does it better. Like Destination Wax, Scottish Hearth, Wood Smoke, um, Teddy Bees, The North. Like there's so many vendors that I think do smoky just spot on that this didn't quite make the mark. It just, it was fine, but it's not as good to me as those other ones. So I did not melt the Hufflepuff one yet. Um, on cold, it didn't smell like anything special. Hufflepuff is my house. So I'll save that for another time, maybe when I'm watching the Harry Potter films or something. But yeah, not a repurchase. So that's it for Scentsy and Wax just in general. I'm going to do a couple of beauty empties here. Um, this has been kind of fun to do and I have a lot of stuff to talk about. So I'm going to try to make this really quick just because that's not what this channel is anymore, but finished up a lot of stuff. Again, like I'm wanting to simplify my routine here. I have so many things. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is like an OG favorite. You can buy two packs of these um, during the holiday season for pretty much the price of one at Sephora. I have at least one, if not two more in my makeup vanity over there. Great setting spray. Well, I've repurchased so many of those. This is the Lawless Forget the Filter Overnight Limp Lip Plumping Mask. This is in birthday cake and it did not smell like birthday cake literally at all. But this was a really nice like chapstick. I use this a lot um, just at home. And uh, it was expensive though, but this lasted me probably a good six months. So I would get that again. I enjoyed that. A lotion. This has been sitting on my nightstand for a year. Ahava Leave on Dead Sea Mud Intensive Foot Cream. So when I get into bed at night, I like to put lotion on my feet. Might not do it every day, but usually at least every other day. Just, I don't know, put it on my hands and feet, get underneath the covers. So this is the lotion that I've been using for like the last year. It's a little bit greasy, so I don't think I would get this one again, but it definitely was moisturizing. Batiste Dry Shampoo. I go through the stuff like water, it seems like. I only wash my hair two to three days a week. It just depends on what I did during that week. Um, 
and you know if I got super sweaty and stuff obviously I'll wash my hair but a lot of times my second third day hair consists of some dry shampoo I love it let's see another makeup product this is the elf putty bronzer does it have a shade yes tan lines so this still has a little bit of product left in it but I can't get like an even application on my brush anymore this is a really pretty cream bronzer it applies really nice and it is one of those bronzers that you can't overdo it super easily um, and it blends out well I just wish the pot was a little bit bigger because it's hard to like get your brush in there to get like a perfectly even application but I've been enjoying a lot of cream products lately cream bronzers I have quite a bit of bronzer right now both powder and cream so the moment I'm not going to get this again but enjoyed it little mini of the drunk elephant B hydra intensive hydration serum I got this in a full-size product like with a full-size product that I purchased I like this serum it's a good basic hydrating serum. Um, I don't think it's anything amazingly special, so I don't think I would ever buy the full size, but I've gone through probably 10 of these minis because every time I buy Drunk Elephant, it comes with one of these. So it's just a nice little perk, good serum. I love the Drunk Elephant skincare line, so I enjoyed that. I don't know how to say this brand, so I very well could be butchering this, but Boma, Bioma? hydrate and restore moisturizing rich cream so this is a uh, face moisturizer i really like the packaging i like the pump and it's pretty inexpensive it's like 20 bucks at target and it's just good lightweight but leaves your skin feeling moisturizing so this is the second one i've gone through i'm using something else right now but i definitely would get that again and then the last product for this video is from a bathhouse. I don't know if you guys have those where you're at, but it's one of those like soap perfume type of stores. And this was a whipped cream soap in the scent Hot Southern Mess. And it's like a kind of musky, um, sweet, pink sugary type scent. It's very kind of, it's got a deepness though. It's very kind of sultry and sexy. I've had this scent multiple times. I've used it with multiple things, um, but I didn't like the form that this was in. I, I don't like dipping my hand into this. I felt like I always got too much product um, and I just was wasting it. So I think I would prefer any like shower gel or things like that with a pump, but glad to finish that. That is it. This is the longest empties I think I've ever filmed. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I finished. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.